Hello, everybody! It's Vertical Sandwich! And, uh, we're in a trash can. We don't have anything else to do in the trash can, though, now. Now everything else is Banjo alone. Except for there's a Tui game, or a Banjo Tui game, I think. Or Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Tui. Jeez. I keep calling him Tui. Her Tui. Yeah, you can hear the trash can closing. Flower's gonna eat us! Nope. Hardly. I actually want the red feathers. Oh, I don't... I don't think Tui can swim. Huh, what happens if I die as Tui? So, uh, yeah, we've got... Uh, ugh. We have Mr. Fit to do. Oh, jeez. That guy. I hate that guy so much. Alright. Yeah, we have at least one more number. So, that's a thing. Well, I mean, we have two more numbers, but... Oh, I know where the other one is. Yeah, okay. That's a Banjo-Kazooie thing. We can't do that without one of them. Or both of them or something. All right, so now it's just getting back to the, uh... Really? All right, this Zubba's gonna kill us, so we don't really have to worry about anything. Oh, nice. I'll take not getting killed by the Zubba. All right! Over we float. <laughs> it does seem to take a really long time, even though it's only 20 seconds. Now, I'm not sure which one of the challenges this is. So. There we go. We knocked the petals off that flower so much. He should just leave us alone now. Ah, crap. This is Mr. Fit. Oh. Or maybe that is to say it isn't. This is the cheese place. Okay, uh, you have a limited air bar here. And spiked onions. You gotta kinda watch out about the onions. Because we're gonna be jumping from onion to onion. So it's a big block of cheese. With horrible cheese smell. And with with onion platforms. Okay, that should be all we have to do, really. Because this one will take us over. And we should be able to just jump from here. Right, there we go. Wow, we got it on the first try, really? Okay, that's our, that's our last Jinjo in this world. So now, all we have to do... Is a uh, sack pack through the opening. Not that. This. And then out here, we will no longer have, you know, uh, choking horrible smell. You can't exit and re-enter to try over and over. I mean, if you're, you know, your, if your smell gland gets low, I don't know. I don't know what you would want to say about what the problem with that is. All right, 85 jiggies. Four more to go in this game. Can never get this right. So that was quick, that was super quick. I like it. So now we just have, uh, we Mr. Fit with Banjo and we should be all right. That is just all kind of downhill from here. Well, and not downhill, but it's all reasonable stuff. I don't know how we'll do with, you know, anything else, but... I do like that this place is... It's not only stinky cheese, it's also onions. And that that's a stench bad enough to kill you. To kill you!
There is a jello mold castle we can get to too. We just have to find the uh we just have to find the correct um the correct cannon to launch us. But we do have to get there with Banjo alone, so we don't have a lot of options as far as that goes. Ah, really? Okay. Anyway. I'm... Okay, so I think... Was it Mumbo's red entrance? That got us to where we were going? The next Mr. Fit Challenge... I, I think this is the hardest one, actually. In my opinion. Uh, only because of the margin of error is almost nothing. There are tricks to beat the first... Obviously, Well, the first one, obviously, you have to do with the shoes. So, you don't have any options. The second one, though... There's like, it's just weird. It's just weird the way the second one works. Like uh, the third one, there's a trick that will let you win almost every time. So. Although my walkthrough didn't seem to know that. So. Alright, so are you ready for Mr. Fit's second challenge? Ugh, see. Alright, here we go. Ah, there you are! For ball! Event 2 is the sack race. Find a sack from somewhere and race me to the finish line! Okay. Nope. Okay. Ah, I see you have a sack, for ball! Fancy a little race across this thorny course? Yes, and you'll start a race. Now, there's a shortcut you have to take to beat him. It's the only way to beat him, and uh, you fall, you die. I mean, it's not... Ready? Three, two, one, go. And it's over here. So it's a little quirky here. Occasionally, I'll be quirky. I'll be quirky! That wasn't so bad. Practicing pays off, people. What? What? You must have cheated! You ain't won yet, Furball. See you around for event three. So then he'll disappear, and then we're gonna have to deal with him for event three, which is up by where the mumble pad was. So we already know where this is. Oh! Ow! Ow! Banjo, jeez! Scare the life right out of me. All right. Well. Now we can take care of some stuff. Wait, we've been taking care of stuff all along, haven't we? Alright, what we need to do... Is, uh, finish off the safe and the Mr. Fit challenges. And then we'll be in great shape. Then we just have the, uh, the Jello Castle. And uh, what else? I don't know what else. The Jello Castle, Mr. Fit, the safe. Kind of at a loss here. Oh, and the shooting, the uh, uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. We have that to do as well. Oh, these guys are so annoying. And the layout of this place. Once you kind of get, once you kind of get out in the open. Oh my god! Oh, really? All that for this, right? Thank god for the honey back coat. Oh. You guys are lucky I can't wonder wing right now. I'm in a really bad mood all of a sudden. Alright, now let's see. So, what we have to do here is, uh, you know, just this. That might be the last one of those guys we ever have to kill. Alright.
So, all we're gonna do is run down here, and there'll be a switch at the end that will give us another number for the, uh, safe. So it's nine. One nine, question mark four. Give me a clockwork kazooie egg. You've made me use them. I don't like that. All right, so now we have uh, limited options. We have to... Well, you know what? If we're going to be running around as Banjo and Kazooie, we might as well uh, just finish off. Like, go... We'll go get the last clockwork... Not, we'll go open the safe, and then we'll go to the pot of gold, because it's a Banjo-Kazooie deal. That'll work. That'll work! I'm telling you. Alright. Get all the way up here. And by all the way up here, I mean all the way up here. And there should be... We've been here before, but we were here as a B, so it doesn't... It doesn't really count. Alright, so it's still platform all the way up here. Now there's a Zubba. Yeah, we obviously want to kill. <gasps> oh no! Get up, Banjo. Hurry. Fool. Get up again. Before the Zubba respawns. Oh, man, you gotta love that grab, I guess. And there's our Zubba respawning, but there's nothing you can do with the Clockwork Kazooie Egg. Ba-boom! There it is, our last number. Oh yeah, 1984, I should have remembered that it's a real rare date. So this is all about rare software, and like, 1984 was when Saberman got frozen and whatever. So, yeah. So we'll get our safe deal here, and then we'll go back to a fly pad and uh, go over the rainbow, I suppose. All right, it looks like we have three more left because, well, we have a, no, we have a ginger one, so we have two more left, and that's just, no, wait, we've got to have three more. I didn't get that jelly one yet, did I? And then the, there's only one last ginger one. Oh, we've got all the gingers in this level. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I'm good. All right, this should be really obvious. Yep, there it is. Because yeah, it does have a rainbow attached to it now and stuff. All right, I will take that. All right, that opens the uh, the deal. The thing. And then we've just got a talent trot over the rainbow. Pretty easy, right? They give us plenty of time. I mean, relatively speaking, it's not, you know, well, five seconds to spare or whatever. And there's a rare coin. Now, we know this is, we know this is a Minjo, right? I mean... Alright, so now there are all, there are these eggs on the side, and we have to... We have to shoot them roughly in the center to uh, activate this challenge. Uh, you have to use all of them except the clockwork ones, so... Not a big deal. I mean, pretty basic stuff. It's actually... It seems to me like it's kind of pointless busy work. Alright, so there it is. Now, I, oh, jeez, this is obnoxious. All right. Welcome. You're in my fabled pot of gold shooting challenge. To win an ill-deserved prize, you must hit at least 75 jiggies in 45 seconds. 
If you manage to be 90, I will give you an extra prize. I reckon you won't even hit 20. Fancy you go! Yes. So it's essentially just this. It's just spinning around in circles. Now, you know, don't don't wear yourself out. Don't go too fast. Cuz, you know, you want to we want to hit stuff. I may be going too slow though. Well, we got a prize. Oh, we did it. Nice. Did you cheat? Yes, you must have. You said I hit 97 jiggies. And so we got first and second prize at once, which is, you know, our last Cheeto page and a jiggy. Uh, we also were three short of all of them. You might have won all my prizes, but I bet you can't hit all 100. Give it a try. No, I hit 97. Get lost, then. This game's too good for you anyway. All right, so Cheeto page, we now have five. Jiggies, we now have 87. There are two left, and one of them is Mr. Fit. So when we come back, uh, maybe we can clear out the level. I'm not even sure. Uh, you guys, uh, really? Uh, you guys take care, and I'll see you for that. Bye, everybody.